Good evening, Barangay La Filnas. It's, the, it's uh, day 32, Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. Wow. James chapter 5, verse 13. Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone, is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Scripture insights. I believe we would all agree that the most common prayer offered to God is a cry for help. When we face overwhelming circumstances and difficult decisions and find ourselves in trouble, it seems natural that we would pray. Why that makes sense? The reality for many is the prayer is that prayer is looked upon as the last resort. Only after we have exhausted our ability to seek solutions to do to seek solutions do we become desperate and apt to call upon God. James' words speak to people who are caught up in the natural joys and trials of everyday life. People who recognize that apart from Jesus, we cannot do nothing. Or we can do nothing. I'm sorry. John 15.5 Life's trials and joys are a wonderful invitation to develop a life of total dependence on God as we wait, as we make the journey. Struggling with anything in life? Pray. Celebrating good things? Pray. The invitation is to learn what it means to rely on God in every moment of daily living and to allow His presence to be made known in our hearts, attitudes, and actions. Today's prayer, Heavenly Father, I do not know the joy or the sorrow that this day will bring but may I experience it all with you. I leave this day desperate to hear your voice. Make me aware of your presence. Prayer journal reflections. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of the La Filnas Church? Our devotion for tonight is written by Scott Shaw, the sixth superintendent, Intermountain. Thank you very much. God bless you. Barangay La Filnas. We'll see you tomorrow. We're almost done. God bless you. Bye.